So, hi guys, you can see by the name below, by the suit that I have right here in my hand, this is on the Assassin's Creed Aguilar or Aguilar movie suit. So, what you'll need for this build, and I'm going to be showing this in great detail, is some brown polyester fabric. Now, I, you can use an old brown jacket, add to the bottom of that. Go check out my How to Make an Assassin's Creed Jacket Part 1 video. Then you'll need some cardboard or EVA foam to maybe make the shoulder and chest piece design, add on all the detail. Then for also these chest pieces, you'll need some cardboard or EVA foam, completely up to you, whatever material that you use. And again, a hot glue gun. That is really vital to stick all these pieces together. You can use just some PVA glue, whatever works, that is a good adhesive for you guys. Then also some sewing techniques can come into it, but I will say again, you can just use an old brown jacket and check out my heart to make an Assassin's Creed part one video. So I'm gonna just jump into this suit right now, show it in great detail. Thank you so much for clicking onto the video and Rick West getting patchy guys. Here we are with the Assassino suit. So, hi everyone, you can see this is my Assassin's Creed suit. Uh, if you hear some background noise or whatever, I had to open my window because this suit is multiple layers, all right? There's layers on top of layers, on top of pieces, on top of other pieces, on top of props, on top of bandages, on top of other props, and it's all around this midsection, basically. So I have, I think, one brown wrap, one red wrap, uh, about two belts that go around those are brown I have this underlying tone over here they just overlay like that and also just the thin kind of maroon pieces in the middle I'll talk through everything but the most piece that I'm happy about that came out is this whole chest and shoulder combo okay so it's just a whole armor piece point the camera because we are going to deal with the bottom section do not worry just want to give you a nice overview of what it looks like all together and this is my Assassin's Creed suit. I made it around, I'd say, when did the film start coming out? About a month and a half ago, if not around a month ago, Zing Prod, amazing. His gauntlets are, Jesus, they look the exact same. So go check his gauntlet process video out. That is Zing Prod, the spell will probably be in the description below. But I did my own kind of gauntlet design because I like, I like the more developed Assassin's Creed like Ezio Alditore de Valencia is my favorite of all the Assassins probably some is Altair I don't know more or less Connor Kenway some people everyone goes that different way but I'm Ezio Alditore de Valencia all the way Ezio is just the favorite and best character of all time for me anyway but this is a Spaniard by the name of so I had to look it up there I think the film or the movie name is pronounced Aguilar or Aguilar that's because it is in the Spanish Inquisition. I watched the movie, I think, around two weeks ago or three weeks ago, something like that. I just kept looking at it, making updates to it. So we'll start off first with the chest piece up here at the top. This whole shoulder piece right here is made from the Paltex. You can use cardboard or EVA foam. Comes right down to the top of my chest, up and around my shoulders. I have two shoulder pieces right here that's all made from the Paltex. Paltex can be found in a Hobby Lobby if you're in the US. You can use cardboard or EVA. EVA foam would be brilliant for this. You could maybe do a Power Ranger, a Green Ranger, or White Ranger, Mighty Morphin. Of course, you could do you know the chest pieces, just bring it down more to the chest right here. Do a lot of gold tips onto it. That would be really good to do. Or the White Dino Thunder Ranger. That would be amazing. That's one of my cosplay plans to do, or cause plans hopefully one day. Right here, I actually had all the Paltex go around here in triangles in the sides, around the bottom, and up here in the top section right here, but what I had to do was thin those up, so originally they were this size, so you can see they're pretty big triangles right there. I just put some of the shiny linen, that's this stuff right here, circular, you can get it in fabric shops, in sewing shops, anything, like art shops basically and it's just thin shiny linen and I put that around the outer rim of the whole shield piece itself it thinned all of these little triangles down into little tinier ones because it looked like teeth or it looked like jaws was just basically encompassing my whole shoulder piece what I did was just thin those up and it gives it a nice even look all around if you want to go for something different put tiny pieces of cardboard it took me a long time and the middle piece right here we have a metal maroon piece this actual section right here is grey, so if you can see the colour difference, I don't know if you can, but it's brown right here the whole way around. 
and this middle piece right here has a gray dark tone to it that's just used from normal polyester fabric the brown is normal polyester brown fabric you can use any brown fabric that you like guys it's from clothing from old second-hand charity shops if you go they have some old clothing you can cut that up use some of the fabric from that anything that you want can go as long as you like the color the texture there is enough of it to use to cut up and make a whole chest or jacket piece that is pretty vital there's nothing more worse than getting halfway through a cosplay realizing you don't have enough fabric and you're really getting somewhere with it so i would always suggest buying a good amount of fabric or investing in going to charity shops and making sure you buy enough of whatever fabric you need seeing maybe some clothing or a leather jacket a leather jacket or something would go good to add some leather pieces onto this like shielding piece or whatever you want to do but i'll step back point the camera to that back right now you can see a picture right here and it has some good similarities not the exact accurate design not the same shapes all together but overall i went for something that i knew would come across so we had some maroon pieces in here I knew the attraction was on these chest pieces right here so I put a lot of time into those. There's some magnetic tape coming down along here in the middle of those. I just glued that to the chest piece you can see here it took me a lot of time figuring out where they come to and where they sit. But you can see I have some one, two, three, four, and five pieces here in the middle. He actually has a, a lot more intricate pattern going on in his chest piece altogether. This one I did the exact same as the metal pieces right here and you can see they actually have a brown color to them. I didn't color or texture these at all. What I did was got an old tea bag. So I just used any tea bags that I had from my house. I was making a cup of tea, got it, started dipping it all along here so I'll go into the light let you see that if that just turns away. You can see it has that nice brown rusty tone to it. These pieces on the actual design are wood. So each individually he has all these little wood pieces coming up here and down here. I just cut individual pieces of Paltex, got a tea bag, dipped it on and stained it like you would to make an old note or make something like weathered. And it came out this nice brown rustic look. So give me two seconds guys, that because I'm really warm in this. So I just put my head out the window. Oh, it felt so good just to have the breeze blow on you. Again, we'll get back to the suit. Put that up there. You can use anything to do this layered, it's very simple, just a layered base, two lines on each side, have a thin black line here in the middle, glue those onto your chest piece if you want to do this maroon design here in the middle. You can take screenshots, go and look it up on Google, it's your best option, it's your best friend. Uh, let me see, you can use some straps right here, you know I was going to actually put some leather straps you know, going down here in the middle to give it more of a feel to it i got these off of old handbags and second hand shops and thrift shops always will say check those out you will find really good clothing or some really good leather items and some fabric in those shops for very cheap completely up to you you can go and watch my part one how to make your jacket base then you add on all these pieces on top of it again just get to the shoulder pieces here on the actual chest piece and the shoulder piece itself they just wrap around at two pieces all I did was curve them so it was, wasn't was as technical as I was thinking. I was trying to get this nice curve but all I had to do was cut two pieces. Make sure they sit at a nice spot of each other. And I was actually going to glue this piece to the arm itself. But I thought it wouldn't have given it a nice overall curve. So it does give it a nice curve around the shoulders. And that I'll all connect here at the back with some Velcro. At the end I will show it all just while we're in the suit. Pardon me. I didn't mean to burp there. Oh Jesus. So, get a stool because I am a tiny, tiny guy. So here we're going to the midsection. Move it closer to the camera. Right here we'll go to the midsection and I say again, we'll take off the belt. So I have a knife right here. Uh, Aguilar has a knife. It's more brown and golden. We have the straps and I have some rosary beads. So I say again, I had some crucifixes right here. You're not really Catholic or Irish. If you don't have a set of rosary beads, say that have some pouches that come onto I just made these out of the polyester brown fabric just little sacks that I've sewn together you can glue them together tied right here at the top and then these are for your curtains so these actually are hooks for your curtain and they just actually hook onto the belt like that 
if you want to use them for maybe pouches on multiple belts you can take those on and off and just have two of those they clip on there if we turn to the back you can see the actual clips on the back here from the dog belt so if you go and check out my cosplay supplies and comic call I just released that video I think about two weeks ago I just got two pieces of Paltex so it's Paltex on the inside right here sewn some brown fabric around it so I didn't actually have any glue sticks at the time so I had to sew the brown fabric I different ways in this suit I didn't want it to look at that clean I wanted to actually get the sew lines and the seam lines and everything so you can see here I just actually sewn it no glue at all in this belt just wrapping it around using the sewing machine to sew it to the actual Paltex you don't always have to use a glue gun it's completely up to you that's so what I didn't realize was I haven't deleted any of the videos since all of the flash intros or all the flash costumes and that was a lot of video storage had to do that all there but we'll get back to it you can see I have this was actually from the boat the pouches in the pound shop so these came off of the camera pouches that's black just a black strap that comes around ties around to my waist and I actually put a lot of charms onto this so I have a feather that I found in around the house yep found a feather then I have the little buttons here that I actually bought for the Assassin's Creed suits on Halloween I think this time last year have another charm right there then we have the button covers or the bolts that I just have found some tiny marble balls that I've just glued onto this elasticated strap elasticated straps they just this elasticated string right here that I use for the bow so for the bow string that all just ties around have another little crucifix on a Hail Mary right here on the bottom of that and that all just comes around to the middle there's little charms and then around here and you can see if you go on look on Google he has these little charms coming in and around here I also have the crucifix but pull that down to there come to this side so it's right here and that just comes off with some velcro to unwrap and unravel like that so I just got a piece of the brown fabric this is normal brown polyester fabric that wraps around my waist like so have another red piece again the velcro comes off right here at the back that unravels like that to show this so I have oh you're lucky you didn't fall there that all comes to here where stoop down I have the velcro pieces right here for the shield bit and the pieces of velcro under there that actually holds this the whole top shoulder and chest piece in place so if you either have a power ranger or a power ranger whatever way you want to pronounce it they tend I think they have some velcro in and around the shield parts themselves so if you want to put those on it really holds anything in place if you want to do Iron Man Nightwing this would be perfect for a Nightwing symbol coming around your whole chest if you want to velcro pieces together velcro them on completely up to you that just comes off like that holds on and then you can see the jacket unzips and that's it so you can see here I actually have the whole jacket comes out like so and it's a big it's pretty baggy this thing has multiple layers to it so let me get untied out of this and we'll be straight back so I tied that in two knots which I shouldn't have tied it in two knots but let's just get that around like that so it's like a belly dancer kind of thing I don't know if belly dancers have like a chain in and around their waist I have a lot of charms in and around my waist okay so you can see here if you want to maybe make a Rorschach jacket like this or a Nightmare Batman completely up to you pretty big pretty lengthy so I made the first base you can see right here if you want to go check out part one on how to make your Assassin's Creed jacket base video you make the top layer of your jacket right here then if I lift this flap up you can see a cutoff point right there and then this line that's actually where I just sewn on this whole bottom piece if I cut off a whole bottom piece uh, this was a pretty big trench coat kind of shape you want to go for a more baggier anything the syndicate the Assassin's Creed syndicate has a lot of baggage to it the Ezio suit has a lot of baggage to it Revelation suit Connor Canway has they have more bulk up here and around their chest area and it's a lot less bulkier down in the bottom area but with this suit here in the Assassin's Creed movie suit he has a lot of layers so I actually made the initial first layer which is your chest and your bottom then I added on this flap here so I have to add on another back piece this is just 
a triangular piece of the fabric. It can be any shape that you want. You can see it actually when I zip the jacket together. So let's just zip this bad boy together. Do that. They actually sit side by side into one another and I actually had to keep adding to it. So if I unzip it right here, you can see there is a sewing line right here and I actually had to add this section in my hand onto this piece because it was too small. If you look at some reference pictures, his aligns perfectly in the middle. They come to like a triangle portion and that's perfect. I love the design of the actual suit. Michael Fassbender, I'm not going to ruin anything. Go watch it if you like Assassin's Creed. You'll get a good kick out of it. Really wish they had it done Ezio or mentioned just something not going to ruin anything about that okay but it's a brilliant brilliant film all its own about a new assassin so I added on some of the like wooden pieces here he has a more detailed pattern going on down his arm again I'll say he has the maroon embroidery all down in and around here I actually might get some embroidery added on that's when a machine and a needle multiple times just keeps going and going into the fabric it makes a perfect design embroidery is a very very good sewing technique but make it that done because I think my mom knows a few people to get it done make it the designs done in here and on the hood but we'll go through the gauntlets so I will say again go and check out Zing Prod his videos are amazing on the gauntlets he did them to basically the exact design they are bulky they are big they have all that hexagon circle formations in them Go check his out. His is actually really good. But I just made these. These are actually my old Spider-Man web shooters. So my first rumored Civil War Spider-Man suit. I made the web shooters for those. I actually turned these into a whole Assassin's Creed gauntlet. And what I did was just, if you want to go check out how to make a gauntlet, I have a video on that. Go please check out the channel and the videos. What you do is just get a piece of cardboard or Peltex. Make it the shape of your wrist. This is before I actually had the zip. So if you've previously been watching, I actually have a zip coming down the wrist right here. But what I did with this is just have a piece of Velcro and some elasticated straps right here. And when I unleash the Velcro or just unlatch the Velcro, I can actually stretch out the pieces right here. And my hand can go in and out while this stretches. So if you want to go through, I don't know, there's a lot of different gauntlet designs all in all. If you want to do three, four pieces, if you want to just do a whole one piece design coming around, completely up to you. I added on the layers of the Peltex coming around here so cardboard and EVA foam will be perfect for this because they have the bulkness to it, they have the real thick depth to it. What I did was add on a wrist piece, so you can see right here it actually has a brown wrist piece coming on, it has the metal bolts, the button covers, I'll show you those if I can find them, they should be right here, there should be, they should be, they should be, can't find them, can't find them guys so you see the metal bolts there and here. Then I built up a body, a brown piece on top of the black right here. Add another thin piece, you can see right there. Then added on the actual assassin symbol. So I cut out a piece of Peltex, wrapped it in the black fabric using the hot glue gun. Glued that assassin piece on. I, I like it, I was going for something a lot different but it came out the way it came out. I have the straps from the dog collars on the dog leashes right here they just wrap around again go watch my cosplay supply video you can pick these up in discount stores Poundland here in the UK if you want to go in the US check Walmart there's a lot of different things that you can have there just some black straps with the plastic buckles they just come around the wrist right here and there's two metal latches that I have and I actually have just left some space so you can see there's a gap right here I can fit my about three fingers, four fingers through it, and that's for when I make the hidden blade. I know people are disappointed that I haven't made a hidden blade yet. Working on it, probably a lot down at this point, but when I make a hidden blade, it will be perfect. Go check out Zing Prods again, I will say his is amazing. He has a working hidden blade, so go check that out. I just came up with my own design. I added on another back brown portion up here to go up the arm piece. I'll always say make sure you have this bend within your elbow for your gauntlet pieces so if you're going to do it maybe have it wrap around here always have that nice curve so that you can bend didn't really work my way up the wrist I want to keep them small and bulky so if they just give you the gauntlets it'd be like a proud moment I love these things they're 
may build on top of them some more all in all it's perfect so let me jump all back into this suit then we'll get out of it and that's us show you some more things about this and thank you so much for watching so far everyone here we are with assassino so before we finish off just show you the hood right here i'll talk a bit about it you can go and watch actually my how to make again i'll say assassin's creed part one costume the process video shows you how to cut and glue or sew your hood together all in all it took me i think three shapes to cut this so i went through a small one i went through a two big one and then this was i just cut into the medium shape of both of those and i got this nice perfect hood it gives me the nice point at the head has enough coverage here at the back I can pull it to the top of my face, down and around to cover my eyes where I can still see and I actually can pull it right down over my face. Although I wouldn't suggest that at all at any stage, it's completely up to you. When I actually first made the base I looked like a monk, I swear to god I shit you not, I look really like a monk so don't detest from the costume just yet but it actually glues to the shoulder pieces right here or your shoulder piece, it doesn't actually glue to the jacket. Pretty good design, it comes right down here to the actual chest past my neck. So usually I would glue the hood to the neck piece but it comes right down past that. To give it a nice dip, give it a nice opening like this. So when you pull it down it has a really nice opening and curve coming around there. Again I'll say I just added the Assassin's Creed symbol and a little button on here. He has a lot of design work in and around his. It's amazing. Thank you Ubisoft for actually making the film. Hopefully you can do some more in the future. Uh, hopefully the critics didn't eat you too much alive. I like the film. Wish I had to maybe added some things here and there, but that can be solved with a new movie. Again, there's a lot of designs guys out there on YouTube. Please go check out other Assassin's Creed videos and other people's costumes. I really encourage to look at all avenues, look at Google. Maybe, please make up your own. All right, so if you maybe make just a jacket base, come up with your whole other design for a shoulder piece, for the chest pieces, the armor, your gauntlets. It's a really fun process. All you would need would be, would be the wraps here in and around the middle. Maybe add an Assassin's Creed symbol. That's completely up to you. The hood is where it's at. And I'll just jump out of this costume right now. Thank you all so much for watching so far. You have really been amazing. The channel's growing like crazy. And here is me talking some more shit at the end. Request game patch, you guys. So, this is the whole costume in its entirety. Uh, it's big, here's all the wraps right here. So we have the pouch, the two wraps going around your chest, that's brown and red. If you want to do a darker red, it's completely up to you. Maybe a maroon actually might do that. Uh, we have the charms right here. You can use anything that's shiny, maybe add a feather. It's a really good touch, he has one. Just find some nice string to attach it all to and wrap it around your waist area. Completely up to you. Gauntlets, make your gauntlet design or go check out other videos on YouTube. There's a lot out there for the Assassin's Creed fan base. Other gauntlet. Then we have the belts right here that and the pair of rosary beads that go around my waist. Oh, blasphemy. But we have the belts right here that I made from the Peltax and sewn the fabric to. You can use cardboard or EVA foam or just some old belts in general. Have some plastic buckles right there. Uh, lift up the rosary beads, blasphemy. Then you can use a knife if you want. Uh, his is more brown and gold. Have a knife in your waist. We'll get to the jacket. So we have the jacket right here. I'll hang that up in a hanger. And this was the jacket that you can make a jacket base and a lot of other Assassin's Creed design videos all in all. Oh, there is the bandages that I also had. So, we have the bandages. Bandages wrap around your hand. You can find them in medical kits, cheap ones, in some discount stores. I had these, I think, from boxing a few years ago, but I've kept them nice. They just wrap around your hand. They can use for a Nightmare Batman, Nightwing, Robin, uh, Iron Fist, let me see, Luke Cage, any real brawler type fighter. Or if you want to go really good old school Wolverine or a Logan type thing, old man Logan, use some bandages. Rorschach also, I think he would look good. We'll get to the shoulder piece and the chest piece right now. I'll show you the back portion. So we actually have two pieces of Velcro here for the hood. So this is the actual hood right here. It just glues onto midway through the shoulder, like there. Okay, so it only comes to here. That folds around to the back where you have two pieces of Velcro. They are inside here in the hood. They clip on like that and that gives you a nice close over for the hood. 
but detach that so that I can get my head in this nice open space right here. I have some Velcro right there that opens up. I have another Velcro piece right there. The metal piece that just opens up again with some Velcro. So Velcro is a lot used in this. You can use some plastic buckles. Velcro can be found on old sportswear, old clothing, old bags. But that just Velcros up like that and sticks together. That is my whole shoulder piece, so it just comes open here at the back. Put my head like that, wrap it around, fold the hood over, and I have my nice chest or shoulder piece. So even when it's unbuckled, you can see right here, it actually has a nice shoulder curve and sits in and around my shoulders really good. I love the design on a plain black background. You can actually really help and appreciate it. So a lot of detail went into this, a lot of time, around a month ago. You can come up with your own original design if you want, completely up to you. Use some brown polyester fabric, anything that you want. Check some second hand shops, old thrift stores. Uh, check out obviously fabric shops, I will say that I get mine from. The Paragon Fabrics. So right here we have the Paragon Fabrics right now. I hate my nails because they are atrocious. That is the Paragon Fabrics, you can check those out on Facebook, the number is right there, they are located here in Belfast, as for Mandy, and she owns it, so you can deal with them, they're really nice people. All in all, they'll do you really good deals, they do ship out fabric, so if you want some lycra, if you want the brown polyester that I use, if you want the white eye mesh that I use for the Spider-Man, ring or contact Paragon through their Facebook or their number, and trust me, you will get it, and they will ship it out to you very cheaply. Thank you so much for watching guys, as always we are here just to help, there is a lot of other Assassin's Creed suits out there, there is a lot of other builds, check out my part 1, part 2 on how I made mine, check out how to make my gauntlet video, or how to make a gauntlets, how to make my red hood jacket process video that also shows how to make a hood, uh, maybe how to make a green arrow jacket, no don't check out the green arrow jackets there, no process videos, so yeah. All in all, that has been my Assassin's Creed suit. Thank you so much for watching. As always, for me, everyone here in Ireland, please subscribe and comment. Always at your geek speak, and I've tried to be an assassino. Request and pache, guys. Bye bye.